Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're going to be going over Hancom Office. This is an Office suite that is on uh, all newer Samsung devices and it's uh, a really good replacement for Microsoft Office. For those of you who have been wanting Microsoft Office or something close to it, this is a really good replacement for it. Um, it's, it serves almost every purpose you can think of especially when it comes to Microsoft Word. So um, you have templates, as you can see right here, when you first start off, just like in Word. And some of the more popular ones for businesses, uh, from purchase orders to project plan, uh, you have memos uh, very easily, price, uh, auto expenses, fax cover sheet, invoice, a lot of uh, very popular ones. However, of course, you also can just always create a new one. And as you can see, as soon as we start this, you can see, a lot of similarities from Microsoft Office to here. So from something as simple as opening a document, saving one, printing one out, and print previewing it. Uh, you can of course change uh, different things in terms of headers, same kind of styles. Your, um, your font selection is actually pretty well off. Uh, again, much more in depth than anything we have seen uh, before, especially on Android uh, in that area. You can increase font size, make bold, italic, underline, straight through, change the font color, highlight, shadow, and uh, line up differently, as well as uh, spacing. So you can determine how much space you normally want, uh, just like you could on Microsoft Office. And again, you can see how detailed uh, it's very well laid out. Now, when it comes to our file section, again, we can even save this as a PDF um, and you can change the page setup. So if you needed to select a different margin layout, you can. The only thing is it does come in millimeters. So if you are used to inches, you do have to convert that. Um, so just letting you know, uh, at least for now, I'm not sure if there will be a future update to change that. In terms of the options itself, uh, you can just see the different kind of things you can do. You can always have it auto save, uh, create a backup copy and even auto save when idle for a certain amount of seconds, which is again nice, so you can never lose anything you create. Now in here, you can kind of see a couple of uh, other things you can do. So you can create tables uh, very easily just by um, right here in this section. You can of course create charts uh, from bars to columns to lines to pie charts to scatter and other kind of charts. Uh, again, very detailed in how this is all laid out. Uh, insert shapes of all the same kind of styles you can with Microsoft. And of course, uh, pictures and clip art. Uh, let's take a look at the clip art. I haven't seen it yet myself. So as we can see, you can do lots of different kind of clip art. It looks, uh, again, very similar to how uh, Microsoft Office sets everything up. Really nice and detailed. Um, and on this side, you have symbols for all of your symbol needs and again we can see there's a lot of different styles uh, uh different languages we've seen russian over here um greek and a lot of special characters i mean really uh, just a very thorough job you can of course do spell check which is of course always nice and again the same kind of uh, layout that we are uh, used to which is of course really well off that you can do that. You can also use the find feature just like you can on Word. Now in terms of the view, we can also insert watermarks. So you can see over here, you can insert a picture watermark just like you normally do. You can scale it, you can wash it out. You can add a text watermark. So if you need to do something confidential or anything like that, very easy on how you do it. Auto fit, zoom in, zoom out, of course. Page borders, you can determine how the page borders uh, will be color with anything like that for yourself. Of course, you can change orientation very easily. And uh, although we did go through most of the things you can insert here, uh, the other things we do have to point out is of course, table of context, footnotes, endnotes, uh, which is of course really good for the students out there and of course business uh, people. You do have also date and time, you have headers and footers, page number, which you can lay out, uh, which again is very nice. You can do it on the top or the bottom comments you can always add in uh, to any section of it bookmarks hyperlinks and finally we get to format so under format we can see again space lining we can use bullet points here different kind of styles uh, numbers and letters right here 
outline features, column breakdown, and you can see you can go up to three columns and uh, different kind of section uh, breaks on the pages as well. So uh, a lot of things that are really uh, nice that you can do here and everything you normally would do on uh, Microsoft Word, you can do on here. So hopefully you like this uh, demonstration video of Hancom Office. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask and I will uh, do my best to answer them. Please give a like, thumbs up if you found this helpful. And thank you again for watching. This has been RICKY, the Android guy.